what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? This is one of those stories that I really didn't want to cover. I felt some type of way about a 240-pound man who's six feet, three inches tall that played in the NFL, allowing a man to get away with groping him in front of his wife. That's one of those things that just, it just gets under your skin, man. And as a man, it really, really makes me wonder about men. Terry Crews is a very talented actor, funny guy, great guy by all accounts. But I just could not get past a man allowing another man to grope him without bringing him his hat, laying him out cold, possibly even taking it further than that. I understand why women don't come forward. America is a rape culture. Let's get that out the way. It is what it is, man. The reason why I say America is a rape culture is because America don't take rape seriously. People get upset. People raise a lot of hell. People's lives are destroyed. But Americans really don't take rape seriously because Anytime there's a sexual assault victim, what do we do? Blame the victim. When Terry Crews first revealed that he had been assaulted by a Hollywood executive, I did exactly what I often scold others for doing. I blamed the victim. Why? Because you have this man, first of all, and then a 240-pound man, six feet, three inches tall that played in the NFL and he didn't handle that situation. I mean, nobody called the corner. He didn't go to the hospital with a broke jaw, busted ribs. He not walking around with his mouth wired and his eyeballs sticking out. Couldn't have been me. But I realized Terry Crews ain't me. Terry Crews is not Willie D. Because I'm built a totally different way. It doesn't really matter the size of the man. That's indicative by a lot of these football players who continue to stand for the national anthem. That doesn't matter. It's what's in your heart. And everybody ain't built the same. I have to realize that everybody picked the battles they feel they can win. I don't look for confrontation, but if you come looking for me, I'm going to smash the gas. I protect my manhood at all costs. And for me, it doesn't matter what kind of money I'm making, what the job script is. Let me tell you something. I don't give a damn where I'm at. I could be in a courtroom. I could be at a funeral. I could be at McDonald's at a kid's birthday party. If a man try to handle me like that, I'm going to go off where he show off. I'm going to lay his ass out. No questions about it. I mean, that's automatic. You put it on automatic. You know how it is when you're driving and you put your car on cruise? Put it on cruise, because I'm going to handle that. Now, here's the deal. The reason Terry Crews said he didn't do anything, he gave in his Twitter, uh, in a series of tweets, 
He said, this whole thing with Harvey Weinstein is giving me PTSD. Why? Because this kind of thing happened to me. Jumping back, I said, what are you doing? My wife saw everything and we looked at him like he was crazy. He just grinned like a jerk. I was going to kick his ass right then, he continued. But I thought twice about it, how the whole thing would appear. 240 pound black man stomps out Hollywood honcho would have been the headline the next day. Only I probably would not have been able to read it because I would have been in jail. So we left. I get it. And he's right. That would have been the headline. Everybody, went, oh man, he snapped. He went crazy on him. And he would not have had any evidence. It would have just been his word and his wife's word against that Hollywood executive's word. And that Hollywood executive's word would have carried a lot of weight because they got a lot of power. Now just imagine how many people he's sexually assaulted. If he was bold enough to walk up to a 240 pound, six foot three black man with muscles and grab his crouch. Imagine what he's done to countless women. Imagine. Imagine what he's done to other men who ain't as big as Terry Crews because really most of those dudes in Hollywood are small. They're not really big dudes. So just imagine what he's done to them. That's cold-blooded. So, I just can't see it myself. I can't wrap my head around ever allowing somebody to violate me or mine. I can't see it, man. And I think that if more people just stood up, just stood up, just say, hey, man, I don't care. I don't care about the repercussions. I don't care if I lose a paycheck. I care about what's right. I think if more people in America decided to do the right thing instead of trying to do what spares them, instead of trying to do what won't ostracize them, won't lock them out, I think this whole society would just be a better place. In America, way too often, we put too much stock in financial stability and not enough stock in moral stability. When you look at how we operate, our value system is bankrupt. Look at all of the corruption going on in Washington, specifically in Congress and in the White House. In the White House, y'all. Our president, well, your president, is under investigation, currently under investigation for fixing the election and we're leaving him with the task of cleaning up America and being the law and order president and protecting the people. When he has come out and said that members of neo-Nazis were good people. We're living in a crazed society. But I got to give Terry Crews a lot of credit for speaking out. Because he had to know that there would be those who would make fun of him. That would look down on him, would laugh at him. And that's exactly what's happening. I've read a number of stuff online. Most of it is supportive, but I've read people who said some sickening things about him. So 
I got to give him his props for that. Something else that is sickening. That Hollywood exec, I bet you in his mind, his goal was to emasculate Terry Crews right in front of his wife. Let him know who's in charge. Like, look, I can do what I want to do. And you, you're going to be silent. Hey, Terry Crews, you came this far, man. Call that fool out. Let us know who he is. Say his name. Imagine how many other people you would be saving. It's safe to call him out right now. You can call him out right now and your career be all right. Because those sexual predators are coming down. They're going down every day. The biggest ones are going down. You will have so much support if you said that fool name right now. Call him out. You got the support. I do believe that the majority of the country is behind you. And much of Hollywood is going to support you. Call him out. I mean, if not for yourself, man, do it for the next person. Because, you know, it's just saying that I've been molested or sexually assaulted, that's a good start, but it's not enough. You got to out the predators. You got to call them out. You got to point them out. Because if you don't, they are going to continue that same behavior and they're going to continue to rack up victims. Be a hero, man. Call that fool out. You know, I was thinking with sexual assault being so pervasive in Hollywood, it might be easier to ask the people who haven't been sexually assaulted by a Hollywood executive to come forward. We got a long way to go, y'all. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.